Hello everyone, welcome back to Indiana Kayak Fishing Journal. Today is Sunday, January the 15th. The initial plan for today was to go up to beautiful Lake Gage in Steuben County, Indiana and chase some trout. Um, I had heard reports that the lake was open and that the trout were biting, so I was going to go up there and do some trolling because it's supposed to be pretty cold today. Um, unfortunately, when I got to the lake, I, I kind of suspected this. The lake was actually skimmed over and I was not able to get out on Lake Gage, unfortunately. But, as always, I came with a backup plan for January, and I brought my pike rod and some pike gear. So what I'm going to do is actually I drove over to one of the rivers. The rivers are always open longer than the lakes, and I'm going to try uh, fishing for northern pike. Now, 2022 was a slow year for me for northern pike. We didn't really ever seem to get on them real good, never really caught any big ones. But I'm hoping to change that in 2023. I'm going to be throwing my usual jerk bait that's the lure that seems to work best this time of year the fish always hit it on the pause so you want to give it plenty of time you know you jerk it a couple times let it set when it's sitting there that's when they're going to pounce on it so make sure you give it plenty of pauses and uh, i'm going to fish for about four hours and we'll see how it goes stay tuned You got yourself all wrapped up, didn't you? There he is. Yeah. Not a bad little fish. I don't know where he came from, but he was there. I saw him. And all I had to do was kind of tease him into biting. Crazy. All right, there he is. Nice little January Northern Pike. Not a real big one. Just glad to be out here. It's nice and cold out here. We got a little warm spell, so I was able to get back on the river. Pretty cool fish. Not bad. There he goes. Yeah. Really nice one. Uh, uh, yeah. Really nice one. Not the biggest one I've ever caught, but that's a really nice fish. That's a really nice fish. Pretty too, dang. Big head on that thing. Beautiful fish. Wow. Heavy, chunky, awesome fish. Look at that northern. That's the biggest one I've caught in quite a while. Just a beautiful fish. Beautiful spots on that thing. 
spectacular fish. He's not real, real big, but that's low 30s at least. There she goes. Nice fish. Well, that was worth it. Took a long time. Got a nice one. Okay, I want to take a quick break from the action to go over some more pike and muskie gear. I get asked a lot, you know, what's the best rod and reel? What line do you use? All those kind of things. What lures are you fishing? Uh, but something a lot of people don't talk about is what you do after you hook a pike or a muskie. So the best thing you can have when you're out pike or muskie fishing anytime, but especially from a kayak, is to have a good solid net. This is the net that I use for pike fishing. The hoop on this net is 24 inches long, 20 inches wide, and then the bag is 18 inches deep. I find that this net works really, really well for me for northern pike in Indiana. You know, the fish generally run, you know, 20 inches all the way up to probably like the mid 30s, 35, 36 inches is about where you're going to top out most times. A 40 inch northern pike in Indiana is extremely rare. Uh, the biggest ones I've ever caught were 38, 39, something like that. So this net will do you really well for fish that size. Um, if you are going to go musky fishing, obviously the potential for a huge fish goes up, you know, to anywhere up to 50 inches, even in Indiana. So this net won't really get you by. I've, I've used it and it's worked for me. Um, but I've actually bought a bigger net to fish for muskies uh, because this one I, I caught some fish in the low 40s inches and I had trouble fitting them in this net and it makes landing a fish very sketchy when you just can't get them in the net but for pike fishing this net is just absolutely beautiful it works awesome even the top end fish are going to fit perfectly into this net so it's really important to have a nice net and then the other things I want to talk about is uh you know I've got a ton of pike and musky lures in here but the other things that I keep in this bag are equally important I want to go over those real quick so when you open this thing up, I've got a couple of different fish handling gloves. Um, I've got, obviously, a pretty thick fish handler glove that's made by Lindy. Um, this works pretty well, but I find that the extra protection that it offers you is kind of offset by the fact that you just can't feel what you're holding onto on the fish. Um, so I don't use this glove a lot. I actually tend towards some of these like musky armor gloves. They're a little bit thinner. Um, so they don't provide you as much protection, but you can really feel kind of like what you're grabbing onto when you're grabbing a fish. Um, and I feel like that keeps you out of danger a little bit more. And then just having a glove on kind of prevents you from like getting cut by teeth or your gill rakers, something like that. So like I said, a nice fish handling glove is always nice to have when you're pike or musky fishing. Some of the other stuff that's in here um, just are tools that will help aid you in releasing fish. So I've got a good set of Nipex bolt cutting pliers these are great for cutting hooks like if you hook a fish in a really bad spot instead of trying to like reach in there and work a hook out what you can do is just go down in there and snap cut a hook out of there makes getting fish unhooked a lot quicker and a lot easier and then sometimes uh if a fish is hooked really badly it's just best to, best to cut the hooks and then get them released quickly instead of trying to mess around with them and get them unhooked i've got a pair of split ring pliers in here and that's for trading out hooks and split rings pretty basic there um, I've got a pair or two pairs actually of these. These are jaw spreaders. These are really important sometimes. I use these pretty sparingly, um, but when you do need them, they're pretty important. So like if a fish takes a lure really deep, you can use these to put them in the fish's mouth and open the fish's mouth up so you can get some room to work in there and actually get the hooks out. Like I said, I use these really sparingly, but if, if you did need them, they're very important. On the back here, I've got really long pair of pliers sometimes that's important too to keep yourself out of harm's way when you're trying to reach like way down in to get hooks out of an, a pike or a muskie i use those pretty sparingly because they don't usually get hooked that bad but it does happen on occasion so it's nice to have something like that i've got a hook file this one's kind of rusty so i don't know how well it would work um, but i try to file my hooks and keep them nice and sharp I keep that on me all the time and then one of the most important things that a lot of people don't even think about, and I should take this when I go fishing a lot, uh, for any species really, is just a little first aid kit. So I've got a little first aid kit in here. It doesn't have anything too crazy in it. It's got some gauze, it's got some tape, it's got band-aids, it's got antiseptic, stuff like that in there. 
Um, for pike and muskie fishing is ex especially important because you're dealing with a fish that has a lot of teeth and a lot of potential to hurt you pretty bad. So I've had some days that have been ended because I got cut by a fish and I couldn't get my hand to stop bleeding. So I ended up like just calling it a day and going home. Where like if you had something like this, you could patch yourself up well enough to fish for the rest of the day at least. Pretty important. I should take one of these with me, you know, like no matter what species I'm fishing for, but pretty nice to have. So that's the rest of the stuff that I carry besides just lures and line and leaders and things like that in my pike and muskie box. Some very important pieces of equipment to have to help you be more successful. And then if you're gonna release fish, to release fish more successfully and have a safe day on the water. heater on my neck though. Feels like another really good one. Oh yeah. Yeah, pretty good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Another pretty damn good one. Oh, yes. Woohoo! Another good one. That's a very stellar fish. All right, be a cool customer like your friend there. Don't roll around too much. Nice fish. Nice, nice fish. 30 inch glass pike. He's good. He's a really good one. Not quite as big as that last one, but still a very nice fish. All right, he's still angry. Can understand, dude. The other one was really calm. This one is really mad. There he is. Just another beautiful fish. Probably a high 20 inch fish. Maybe touching 30. That's just an awesome looking fish. Really good one. Alright. Well, let's get him back. Another really nice, fat, healthy pike there. And they're just absolute beaut. All right, let's get this guy back. Look at the red on the bottom of that guy's tail. And all his fins. So pretty. Such a pretty fish. Just a beaut. Yeah, that's another 30 incher. There he goes. Whew. Well, it finally seemed like the wind quit now that I'm done fishing and I have to get out of here. I have a hockey game I have to play tonight, so I have to leave. But boy, that wind really all of a sudden just seemed like it laid down. It's beautiful out here right now. All right, well, that's going to do it for the video today. Unlike the spot that I'm sitting in right now that's calm and sunny, a lot of the river is really windy. It was cold, it was nasty. I really had to work for the fish that I caught today, but as you've seen, I caught some beautiful northern pike. The first one I caught was pretty small, but the other two I got I was really, really, really excited about. The second fish that I caught was just an absolutely beautiful fish. I'm not really sure how long it was, probably in the low 30s, uh, but just big, fat, healthy, beautiful looking fish. It's always awesome when you throw a cast and you're kind of ripping it, and then all of a sudden you go to rip it that next time and it just loads up and then you start to feel those head shakes. Always super exciting. So I got that one and then I ended the day on another one. Like I said, I caught three fish today. I really worked for them, but what else can you ask for in January? You know, I'm still out, still kayaking, still fishing in the middle of the winter. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you to everybody who likes, comments, subscribes, shares these videos. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one.